So here we go. City of Ash 2 on Veteran with the Necromancer tank. I've equipped uh, the ice stuff at the moment. I'm just uh, trying to see how that goes. But then now uh, when we hit the middle boss that spawns the flying sword thingies, probably gonna switch to sword and board on both bars. Kate down the grasp, immobilize them, freeze them. See, do I, do I already have the quest on this? Oh. What you want to do with add groups, taunt them, put the bone totem up, immobilize them with the grave grasp if necessary, and suck up the dead corpses for more ultimate and a shield. I'm not sure what to do here, just put the crusher on them if it's possible. Maybe taunt them anyway. So, this is going to be interesting. Let's see how it goes. Be careful. The gate's been open for some time. Got 29 oh, minutes left of my food. Pretty sure it's going to run out sometime in between or at a boss fight because I never notice. Crusher, Grave Grasp, Immobilize them, Bone Totem, and Still Fear. All the good stuff. This guy here, put the beckoning armor up to chain him in. <laughs> and get shield and ultimate from corpses. The gate is just up ahead. Those three in front of it look formidable. Crusher down, put the totem down for more resistances, beckoning armor up, and spirit mender up. And still get knocked back. Alright, we'll give these guys a warhorn. Restore my bone totem. Restore my spirit mender, put the crusher up. The elemental blockade is what I mean when I say crusher, it's because it's got the crushing enchantment. Try to fart on these astronauts so they don't kill my teammates. And pull them in with the beckoning armor. Nice. Get this one down. Where's the next one? Go 
her and we're up. Oh, for fuck's sake. On to her too. And we need some heavy attacks for our stamina to refill. But they're not too hard to get in. And her up again. Bone totem. Poke. Crusher. Shield. Stamina back, crusher, poke. There we go. Coming for you, Gilray. Oh, it's over there. I do like this dungeon, it is quite long, but it looks pretty good actually, and most of the boss fights got something to them, like the one with the big fire dragon that spawns his little side Atronax which you gotta kite. Pretty cool, okay let's put stacking armor up, taunt the little things, taunt the big things. Especially the guys here with the hammer or what it is, the mace. You always want to keep them away from your group because they'll knock people over and do a shitload of damage. The crusher down, the bone totem down. There's one guy running free over there, we'll taunt him. <coughs> Suck up some corpses. And there we go. Getting armor and spirit lender up. How in oblivion did you get and taught everything. Especially the guys with the maces, as I said. Yeah, we can talk these guys back here as well. And we need a beckoning armor and spirit lender. Put the bone totem down. Oh, there's another guy with a mace that I need to get. Yeah. Just use a scythe to restore some. Don't tote them again. Keep the armor up, the spirit mender. vampire on this build as I said I chose a Nord for this one my Dragon Knight and Warden tanks are Imperials and I've got vampirism on them but for this one I thought let's just stick with all these really nice Nord resistances and not smaller them down by being a vampire Magicka recovery is awesome anyway as you can see I can spam all these skills uh, without running out much. Totem. Taunts on, on the people that are running around. Yep. So what you need to look out for is definitely the stamina. Because you run low on that quite quickly if you block. So make sure to get some heavy attacks in. Yeah, whatever, we'll just go on. Put our beckoning armor up. 
So let me chain him closer. Let's bone tilt him down. Get a shield. I guess Sticks um, had a DC because he's from the guild, so usually he wouldn't just sign off without saying anything. I hope. Alright, running low on stamina, get some heavy attacks in. Don't tilt him down. Armor and Spirit Mandra also heals our allies. Yeah, some more of them. Get the mobilize. Get the guy with the mace. Somebody died, that's not so bad. It's probably just because the healer's game froze. Happens. And they just keep on coming here in this part. Get some life back. Oops. Spirit under up. Going on up. That sucks. Some corpses in. And our healer's back, so that shouldn't be a problem now anymore. These guys I'll just drag through here, or else they'll just keep on coming. We went out of stamina. Gotta get some heavy attacks in. Put the ghost cross down, put the crusher down. And that beckoning armor chilling them in. Alright, now let's get the big guy before there's more ads coming. <coughs> I'll throw them. Ah, oh, actually, I won't throw them around. Not for this one, for the next one. There's a big boss coming up. I'll give them a bone to them. For resistances, scythe gets an health back, spirit mender up, crusher down. Oh, I guess he can't loot it. Nah, he'll be alright. Don't worry. What now? We can't get past right. that thing. Taunted. Turn him around. Get a bone totem for resistances, beckoning armor, spirit mender, crusher down, get some health back, and do some heavy attacks. Refresh the is full again, the shield going. You want to keep beckoning armor up here with this buff all the time because there's lots of ads. And you can fire spot some of them. But you have to take care of the boss, obviously. So Scythe him. Heal him. And 
spirit mender. as meek as you lot and you call yourselves undaunted quiet you it's been a bad day we have to keep moving what are you looking at what do you think it's been months are you all right I'm fine i got used to it got used to there's what? a cake in here what did you do? and if you eat How it you, you pass out and get I an achievement native. keep up i'll try but we're trying to get through this dungeon fairly quickly or like at a normal speed so let's not do that all right so for this bit i think i will switch to Your skins will make the double sword and board better. setup just because the main boss is doing quite a lot of damage. Mortals' lives are so fleeting. Just lie down and die. Feed me. We'll spot all of these so the second armor chain is pulling in. And suck up some corpses. Taunt this guy. Turn him around. Let's get the skin that's spawning. Let's get the bone toads in there. Hey, fighters go to ten. Nice. All right, another dude with a mace, and I'm out of stamina. Perfect. Get some heavy attacks in here. Let's spot the others, and then just recharge stamina while they're taking them down. Sight for health. Oh, lots of them. Put back in an armor up. Help them these guys. And then spot the others just so they get pulled together. If we can. If we can. There you go. That human chain is gonna pull them in. And then you can put a bone totem down for fear. So, stamina. We need stamina. Remind me to put on new food after this one. Okay, we've got our spirit mender, our bone totem up. Now we've got a little more resistance. Beckoning armor up also. Take it apart from this guy then. 
Alright, he's spawning his heads. What you do here in veteran as a tank is you want to pull these heads and just kite them. Away from the group. Make sure that you renew the taunt. That's why you get the far spotting taunt or the nice stuff if you want to. And then you'll just kite them around. There's another one spawning over there, I think. Yeah, we gotta get that one too. Which we did. He spotted. And this one spotted. And then you can spot the boss too, just so he doesn't go on the team members. But on you. And keep these taunts up. And then keep your shields up and your armor and anything that heals you. Spirit Mender. You can try to get a scythe in. So, pretty smooth this one. Oh, wait, that was a boss. I can loot that. Lots of crap. Thank you. them together and then the bone totem for the fear right put the totem in there and then roll through All the other guys. Oops, here's the leash. Pull him in. You can do that obviously with bone armor. And then spot them to pull them in. But I like to have the leash there. For things like the second boss in Veteran Frost Wolf. Where you really gotta pull the archers in quick and you don't wanna. You don't wanna leave it up to good fate for the bone armor to do that that settles it on your feet Brit good it is time to fight but it is a flex slot if you know the dungeon and you know that you I won't need a, a leash plenty. chain then just uh, put another skill on there there's lots of good skills that you can use Immo immovable being one heroic slash a lot of them Or for some resource management. Put up our spirit mender, bone armor, totem. Then you can open it. Alright, that went well. I'm hoping these guys don't want to take a shortcut because I'd like to do the full dungeon as it is. This is a good time for bone armor and taunting them so they all get pulled up because they're scattered all over the place. <coughs> Excuse me, that's a little cold. Alright, the bone token down. My weapons are, by the way, weapons and armor are not all in the correct trait yet. Actually, most of them are not, I think. So I'm hoping for this build to grow even stronger. Um, when I'm when I've got my all of my uh, weapons in the right trait and armor in the right trait and jewelry in the blue. Don't think you can pull this back right now. No. Mm. 
in the blue, no, when I've got them all in the right trait, that's what I was gonna say. I was thinking about my jewelry because I think it's blue still. Let's toss these guys, put the spirit member up. Let me check. Yeah, my jewelry still blue. How'd everybody die here? I was just checking my stuff for a second. Oh, did you pull the clone colossus already? That's not too smart. If the tank is back there tanking in blue. He really wants to pull him up there. Alright then, heavy bone colossus. You wanna take him? There, I'll give him to you. That was a little mean, yeah, I know, but you don't want to run past the tank and pull a huge bone colossus in a veteran dungeon. Especially since, yes, I've checked my inventory for a second, but I was still tanking these two guys there. So why didn't you just finish them first? That was my Dragon Scale Storm Wolf, by the way. I'm so glad I got this because it looks so awesome. I just bought two crown crates or something. Not not a lot, either way. And uh, got this out of one of them. That was really good. So just this side and the other side and then we're at the boss and that'll be an interesting fight because I've never tanked um, the Valkyrie Scoria boss on this Necromancer before only on my Dragon Knight tank but I'll definitely see how it goes so let's spot all these things get beckoning armor up let's chain them in Why does this guy run out? He's taunted. Bone totem, spirit member. Just in that moment where I wanted to do the bone totem and cut out a little block. Didn't pay attention there. Alright, let's suck up some corpses, get the spirit lander going. Plus some extra heals for the group. And keep taunting stuff. Those archers. Beckoning armor needs to be on. Not sure if I can chain these archers in. They kind of seem to be doing just what they want to. Oh, I need some stamina back from this ad. Yeah, you should be doing something.
Beckoning armor, spirit mender, where is it? Here, there's the boss on this side. Bosses here always uh, spawn storm metros. So we grab them too. You know what they say, better late than never. <laughs> Tilting down with another storm metro and another storm metro, and let's taunt them on and throw them a wall hard. Keep the bone tilting up, keep the spirit mender up, taunt everything, and restore some stamina, which I always notice too. Right? I've had so much time to get some heavy attacks in. We really need to get better at that with the necro tank. Because if you do regularly heavy attack in between, you're not gonna have problems sustaining it. But I hardly ever do, because I'm used to getting so much stamina back on my DK tank. Where I should do it also, that's not an excuse. Just with him, I only need like two heavies to fill my almost my full bar up. So I never paid attention that much. And here we go, next one. Poke them just to give them the debuffs. And my food ran out. I knew it. I knew it. I wanted to change it after the boss, right? Fuck's sake. Alright, so we need to in the armor. And we need to talk to this. And the bone totem. And the spirit. And the sight. The archers again, the ones that can't really be pulled, but we'll put up the bone armor anyway. Uh, the weapon armor. Just for the shield, if nothing else. Uh, for the resistance, I mean. Oh, we did come closer. Can you pull them? There we go. Spirit vendor up, boss is here. Also, he, like the other one, will on, uh, spawn storm metros, which we need to pull in. And we'll give him a war horn. Use a combustion. It's here anyway, let's get it. Two more storm machos which will parse butt and then bring them over. Okay, don't tow them down so everyone gets resistances. Spirit Mender for some extra healing. Scythe for our healing. And just keep beckoning armor up anyway. For the resistances. And there we go. So, now up to Vulcan Scoria.
Let's see how that'll go. You don't have to come down here for me to hurt you. No, Fenganian. He'll have all these platforms on which he'll jump and then you can I'll fight him on them but then he'll destroy the one he's on and jump to the next one and you've got to get out of the lava really fast or else he'll burn what the hell is this guy doing oh he's reading the scroll is he yeah okay so we've got two less platforms fight him on on hard mode yeah, better block this Get a bone totem up or spirit mender up. There's no ads yet, so we don't need beckoning armor yet. But there will be flame astronauts on the next platform we'll do. Stamina back. Let's keep the spirit mender and the beckoning armor and the bone totem up as always. Get a sight in to heal us. And then keep the taunt up. And pull a war horn. Because we've only got one more platform, we're gonna need a little more damage now. Bone totem. Spirit mender. Beckoning. And taunt. The fire. Yeah, he's destroying the next platform. We're at 34%. 30, yeah, 34. And he's gonna be over there. Because it's the only platform left, really. Usually, he doesn't walk over here. He just jumps over here or spawns here. Bone totem for resistances. What the fuck? He won't let me taunt him. And he's running around in a very strange way. Okay, here he is. Alright, beckoning, spirit wonder, bone totem. Yeah, that's kind of buggy. Or were we just slow? I guess we'll just finish him here then. 4% should be possible. Let me see if I got a wall horn. Uh, I would have had one pop the shield out from it instead. Awesome. <laughs> Either way, he's down. And a burning spell beef stuff, maybe? No, it's that. Sword. Scorious charred flame. And the hat. Well, either way, that was the gameplay video for the um, Necromancer tank build. I hope you enjoyed it and got a grasp on how to play this build. I'm gonna be trying it out soon in. Um, harder content like DLC veteran dungeons or maybe a veteran Hellra or a Tyrian Archive but first I want to get all my stuff in the right traits as you can see uh, my swords are still not in defending my shields are not in reinforced my head is not in reinforced I need to do that and upgrade the jewelry to purple and also get the undaunted skills full here and a couple others. 
but it works fine so far. It's a work in progress. You can definitely do uh, veteran content with it, even if it's not perfect yet. So go and have fun with it. I hope you enjoy it, and goodbye.